Welcome to Build Builds, and today we're going to be making a simple ring toss party game where you can compete with your friends. So the premise of the game is really simple. It's just going to be like a T-shaped structure here, kind of like this, right? It's going to have one uh, vertical and a horizontal beam. And on the edges of the beam here is going to be a rope with a ring on both sides. And then on the vertical piece, there's going to be two hooks on either side at the same distance from the base. And your goal is to hook the ring on more times than your opponent. It's usually played at a party scene uh, where you play uh, with a shot glass and you move it closer to the opponent's side when you hook the ring. So let's say, let's make it five. You move it, it starts out in the middle, and you hit, hook it, you move it closer to the other person, and then vice versa when the other person gets it. So it's a very simple and fun game, and uh, I can't wait to show you what my design's gonna be like. So for this project here, we're actually gonna use this scrap walnut I have. And this is actually gonna be the base. I don't know where I got this piece from, uh, but it's a test brand, and not only that, it also already has the chamfers on it. So this is a win-win, and it's actually the perfect win already. So we're gonna use this as the base, and we have some other walnut here that we're gonna use for the vertical and horizontal supports. And I also have this, I don't know if we're gonna need it. But, oh, we also have hardware for setting up the rings and stuff, so. But what I wanted to do was go over the design. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's just a square, right? Sorry, a rectangle, rather, as the base. Kind of like that and then so that's that piece you saw it's gonna have a vertical support like that okay and here's where the hooks are gonna be one there one there and then we're gonna have a, um, a horizontal support at the top and then it's gonna have a hook here a hook here and we're gonna have down here is gonna be a ring down here is gonna be another ring I did it on black but basically your goal is to throw this so that it hooks onto the ring and then maybe if we have enough wood left over, we'll make a separate board here that has maybe uh, one inch uh, diameter holes to put your shot glass in to move left and right closer to the player. We'll need, we'll need an uneven amount. So we'll need, uh, this will have to be five. And then uh, that should be easy. This is what we can do with the, um, with the portion of bits. That should be simple. Yeah, this whole thing is gonna be pretty simple. I just gotta figure out one of my biggest issues here is figuring out how I'm going to attach, what am I going to use to attach these two pieces together? What am I going to use to attach it to the base here? I think that's what we need to figure out. Um, I'm thinking maybe here, this would be like a screw from the bottom and then like one or two maybe. And the top, I'm thinking we maybe drill, you know what? Okay. I have an idea. We'll drill. So basically we'll drill two holes. Okay go in, put screws in, and plug them with dowels, it'll look, we'll use contrasting dowels to make it look like a design. And that'll look really good. So that's what we'll do. I think what we have to figure out now is how high we want to make these things. Um, I think that's the next step. I actually have, a, I don't have a pencil with an eraser, so. Okay. Um, I think that's what we need to figure out now is how we're going to do that. Um, so like, looking at the design, right, we have this vertical piece, and I think uh, to figure out how high that needs to be, I'm trying to think of what's comfortable. And then if we go up higher, I don't want to go too high so you can't see it, but if I go to like maybe here, I'm thinking, right? So what's this? Oh, you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm just taking a measurement to see how high I want it. You know what? Let's call it 16. So what I want to do is figure out how thin I want to make this support here, the vertical support. So I was thinking if we did it like this horizontally, right, instead of like this, because we're gonna have the two rings here, so they need to have more meat to go into. I was thinking, so I think this is too wide. I think if we did, so what is, so let's see. So what is this? This is inch and a half. I'm thinking if we did inch and a fourth, we can get, I'm thinking if we did inch and a fourth, we can get enough out of this. I think that would look nice. So, so we'll do, we'll cut that off of the table saw.
So as you may or may not have saw, um, I cut the shorter piece as well, uh, the miter saw. But what I decided after I was done putting it all, like mocking it up and stuff, I've decided that the shorter piece looks much better as the vertical than as the horizontal. So, you see, I think this looks too big. And I think if we went like this and used a taller piece, I think that'll look much better. I think it already looks better. So, what that'll mean is that this is longer than the bottom, which is fine, it's gonna look good. Um, I've also given them all the quick sanding just to make them easier to deal with. I've also decided since I can't really get rid of, you can't, uh, I can't really get rid of my logo down here. So what I'm gonna do is just sand this nice, flip it upside down and use the chamfer as the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'll take my hand plane and you'll see, I'll just run it along here and I'll give it a nice chamfer by hand. And that'll look real nice. I've made lines on the top here so I can try to figure out how to align this. I've screwed, I've made a hole in the center here so I know where to put my next screw. So I think the next thing I want to do is get the center of this piece this way and line up the holes and boom! Top this screwed on and good to go.
So I've sanded it. It's nice and smooth. I got the edges here cleaned up with the uh, hand plane. It's nice. This is this came out. This looks really good so far. Um, I think the next thing I want to do is figure out how far. So here's my hardware. Uh, let's see here. So let's get this out. Um, these are the hooks for the rings, right? This will be where you hook it in. I'm just trying to think of how high up I want this. I, I honestly think I like two and a half inches, maybe. And then this is the hooks for the ring for the what do you call it? Uh, the big rings, right? This will be where the rope comes down. So we'll put two holes. One here, one here. Let's do that first. And then we'll figure out the height here. So let's do that. All right, now that we have the hooks on, we have, um, I was gonna be sand with it. Now that we have the hooks on, we can now deal with this. I don't wanna use that one, I don't wanna use that one, okay. We want these two rings, okay? So what we need to do now is figure out the length of the rope. So here it is, this took, uh, well, okay, this is not the finished product. This is it after I took the knots. That took so long to do. This is two bow lines and two two half itches. It's um, surprisingly difficult to play. Um, it's harder than I thought. I thought it would be much simpler. Um, I think that's the deception of it, right? It should be, fair. it looks like it should be easy, but it really isn't, but I think, I don't think I'm gonna get this. Come on, one more try, all right. Well, that's it. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is finish it and then we'll work on the shot tray.
here it is. It's finally done. I cannot wait to start playing it. Uh, there were some complications here and there. Like I had to straighten out the base part because it was slightly trapezoidal. But other than that, it went really smoothly. Uh, the knots were a little difficult, but luckily I'm an Eagle Scout and the knots were fairly simple to make. But just getting in a line was pretty hard, uh, the length wise. Um, this was made out of completely spare walnut. I know not everyone has spare walnut, but it can be made uh, really anything. So I just happened to have some walnut around. I think it would, I just thought it would look nice. I finished it with Danish oil, sanded it to 220, and I think it looks gorgeous. It just really looks nice. I love walnut so much. I wish I could have my whole shop was walnut. Um, this shot glass holder was just made with another spare piece um, and used the Forstner bit to drill out these five holes. And that was it. It's a very simple project, can be done in a couple hours. Uh, I got it done in about two or three. Um, and that was it, it's fairly simple. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you do. And that's it. This has been Bill Builds. And once it goes off the board, the other player's side, it will... Fuck. No. Wait, no, less. What? No! You gotta, like, hit it. Man, I was so good at this before when the camera was off.